Hello everyone, I am the Nexus Avenger, and today is finally the day I get to show off my brand new VR character model. Now, if you were to play any regular game in VR, you would have a camera that would be floating above your character, and you would have the regular controls that you would have for a directional pad. It was pretty bad in my opinion, and it was not very immersive. Now, something I wanted to try to do was create a VR character. I would say my controllers are here, my headset is here. I want to create a proper character that goes around my positions. And as you can see, it works. I mean, I'm properly wearing my shirt, I'm properly moving my hands, and I can properly move around in a virtual space. Now, there was a lot of things that actually ended up delaying the release. The biggest one was tools. Oh, say, the sword, which I just have right now. Now, tools itself wasn't the problem, but oh, say, if I use my special move controllers, reminiscent of Steam VR Home, the main problem that I was having was that touch events would not properly work. They're bugging a tiny bit where they kind of are ghosting a bit, but for the most of the part, they work as if they were a proper touch event for a sword, as like your regular character. That was the biggest problem that I had to tackle for the past few days. But as I was able to just kill them like that, I didn't have a problem. Now, something that was originally going to be a very large problem until I came up with a very simple solution was moving platforms like these. Now, they do appear to be a bit jittery right now just because they're on the server, but that's just so they've been synchronized between clients. The main th thing I wanted to do was to be able to align, oh, say, some type of rocky type platform, like your character would be able to move and still clip to the ground below them. I would say if I would have decided to move platforms like that, oh, over there, I would be able to do so. And another problem I was facing where I would have platforms above, but I seem to have been able to solve that. And the main thing that I wanted to figure out was the ability to do this in multiplayer. Let's say I have this character coming up. If I had a sword, I would want to kill him, as if he were a regular character. He is actually able to see what I am seeing, kinda. Like, I am able to wave to him, I can dab at him, I can dance, I can do whatever I want. Now, there are a few different things in the configuration, okay, a lot of things. But there are two main things that you want to pay attention to, mainly movement and falling. The first thing that I control is the ability to have... Oh yeah, reset and dying also works. Oof. The main thing I want to show up was good controls, like these teleport controls. These are more dedicated to things like showcases and are going to be enabled by default. There's also going to be D-pad controls or games that require moving like a regular character, but those will be disabled by default as they aren't really that immersive. Well, these aren't either, it's just... And the other thing was falling. So if I were to actually wait for this section to come under me, I'm going to clip to the ground below me. The thing that I'm also shipping is a falling simulator, which makes it so if the ground is gone, you'll start the fall. If you fall into the void, you will naturally die. Now that is disabled by default, as I do have concerns with motion sickness as already being on a moving platform like this may cause motion sickness for some users. But, yeah. I'll leave this falling simulation enabled. I'm not even going to bother having the feature to disable it because I do not want players to suddenly have a rocky terrain and just going over it naturally like a god. Okay, thanks for coming me. One weird physics thing is my hands are still floating. So, sometime later today, as I'm recording this, it may be up at the time of recording, this will be up on Roblox and I will be putting a GitHub repository because this is probably not the condition that everyone is going to want it. There's probably going to be some type of functionality that people want, and they have the time to actually put it in. So, 
I will leave that up to you guys to uh, do bug reports and requests through either my messages or through the GitHub repository once it's up. It'll be linked in the description. I love being able to do hand gestures in VR. Well, it's very nice. So that is basically it. It will be open source and you not. And it will be geared towards showcases, but any game will be able to work with this. There's also an incompatibility list that will be in the main loader, which can be put into service script service or workspace. Service script service is recommended though. Can you please stop? And also, one thing that I am not shipping with this is R6 compatibility. It'll display a warning at the beginning saying that you are in R6 and this only works with R15. Mainly because bending joints and legs, like so, like my legs and my arms, is very difficult to do in R6 as well as hand movements. So I guess that is actually pretty much it. I'm glad I finally have my VR character working and it will be public later today. So I guess that is all for now. Goodbye and enjoy it.